Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 2.11 and 2.12. In exercises 2.9 and 2.10, we have carefully distinguished between average speed and magnitude of average velocity. No such distinction is necessary when we consider instantaneous speed and magnitude of velocity. The instantaneous speed is always equal to the magnitude of instantaneous velocity y. So, he has given the statement instantaneous speed is equal to instantaneous velocity, but we need to justify. While coming to the formula of instantaneous speed v is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta x divided by delta t that is also is equal to dx divided by dt. Similarly, instantaneous velocity v bar is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta x bar divided by delta t that is also nothing but dx bar divided by dt. Here the time interval dt is extremely small. Therefore, distance dx is equal to the magnitude of displacement dx bar. When the time interval here the time interval is dt is extremely small. Therefore, dx is equal to dx bar. That is why we can write instantaneous speed is equal to instantaneous velocity. So, when the time interval is same, dx value mod dx value both are equal. That is why automatically instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity both are same. Coming to 2.12. Look at the graphs A to D, figure 2.10 carefully and state with reasons which of these cannot possibly represents one dimensional motion of the particle. Coming to the solution, here all the four graphs are not possible or impossible because we will discuss one by one. If you come to the first diagram, it is position time graph. If you draw an imaginary line which is parallel to 
position axis. This is intersecting at the two points. So at same time, there are two positions are possible as per this graph. But practically, at same time, two positions are not possible. So that's why the graph A is not possible. Graph A is not possible. The reason at the same time a particle can't have two positions coming to graph B here velocity time graph is given here also we can draw an imaginary line which is parallel to y axis. If you observe here the velocity, one value is present. Here another value also present. Suppose say that is V2. That means one velocity is positive, one velocity is negative. So, at same time, it is also we can say that this graph is not possible because at the same time two velocities are not possible for a particle. Coming to C. If you observe the graph C, it is speed versus time graph. In the speed versus time graph, above time axis, the speed is positive. Below time axis, the speed is negative. But actually, the speed can't be negative. That's why the graph is not possible. Graph C is not possible. Because... The speed of the particle cannot be negative. While coming to D, this is the total length versus time axis graph. Total path length versus Time graph. Total path length is nothing but distance. If you observe here, here the distance is 0 when time t is 0. It is increasing and again decreasing and again becoming 0. So therefore, here from this point to this point, if I am naming it is O, A, B and C between A to B the path length 
or the distance is decreasing with the time. So practically that is not possible. That's why what we can write the graph C is not possible because total path length that is nothing but distance can never decrease with time. These are four graphs which are not possible with the reasons. Thank you.